Hi guys, welcome! In this video, we'll talk about cards. Where to get, how to inlay, how to add slot, how to remove, and which cards are the best in-game. Placing cards and slotted equipment provides players with increased offensive and defensive stats plus other various special effects, giving them a huge advantage in battles. Unlocking and depositing cards in the Adventure Handbook also gives additional stats and effects. These cards are dropped by most monsters but are super rare, with some even having drop rates of 0.01%. If you manage to get one, consider yourself very lucky. Other methods of obtaining cards include the following but not limited to Emil's Handbook, or also known as the Old Collection Album, which your character can get for free after reaching level 50 from the Growth Pack. Using this item will grant you one random non-MVP card. There is also an Emil's hardcover handbook which grants rarer cards. If you have big cat coins and want to try your luck, you can draw a random card from the card capsule aka Fantasy Generator 3 in Frontera. The first draw costs 30 BCC each day and successive draws within the day increase the cost by 30 BCC. So it's better to draw just once a day since the cost resets to 30 BCC each day. You may also craft normal and advanced cards from King Pouring NPC in Frontera South Gate. Lastly, you can also buy cards from other players in exchange using Zenny. Now let's talk about inlaying cards in your equipment. To inlay, just tap the card, then tap Card Inlay, and then select the equipment that has a slot available for a card to go in. Once inlaid, the empty dark blue card slot will be filled. The card effects will be added in the description of the equipment. Take note that the weapon can only have a maximum of two card slots, while the rest of the gears can only have one card slot. Cards only install into their own specific type of equipment category, so tap the card first to see where it should be put into and what effects it gives. You can add one or two slots to your equipment for the equipment socketing NPCs located at Geffen, Morok or Pion. The Geffen socketing NPC found here provides additional card slot for weapon, shield, and armor equipment. Meanwhile, the Morok socketing NPC here may add card slots to your footgear and garment. Lastly, the Pion socketing NPC found here can give accessories an additional card slot. In addition, to add an extra card slot, you need to have a total of 11 of the same equipment. 10 of those should be in your inventory and will be used up in the process while the other one should be equipped and it will have the additional slot. You will also need to pay Zenny as a processing fee. Take note that adding card slots will not affect the slotted equipment's refinement level, strengthen level, and enchantment. If you made a mistake in inserting a card, you do not need to worry since removing it is really easy. To remove a card from your equipment, just unequip it and go to the Pyrolysing Stove's NPC near the Refinement NPC in Frontera. Select the first option, Restore Equipment. Tap the plus sign and then select the unequipped gear you want to remove the card from. When you tap on Restore, 1000 Zenny will be deducted and the card will now be available again in your inventory. Finally, let's discuss the various important cards in-game. In general, the most in-demand cards in the Southeast Asia server right now are the weapon cards that increase damage to a certain element, race, or size of monsters. Countering monsters with damage-modifying cards greatly boosts farming efficiency. For example, there is a high demand for the Man Blood card as it increases damage to earth monsters by 20%. This is particularly useful for farming as there are lots of high-level monsters that are of Earth property. Other cards that increase damage of certain elements are the Drain Lair card, which increases damage to water monsters by 20%, the Mandragora card, which increases damage to wind monsters by 20%, and the Baton card, which increases damage to fire monsters by 15%. If you want to counter monsters with neutral element, it is best to use cards that increase damage on a particular race. One of the soft after racial cards is the Hydra card since it increases damage to demi-human race by 15%. This proves very useful in PvP and Guild Wars since it also affects other players' race. 
However, hunting Hydra card is quite difficult since only the Hydra star drops this card. Other examples of cards that affect damage to rays are the Flora card, which increases damage to fish rays by 15%, the Goblin card, which increases damage to brute rays by 15%, the Peko Peko Egg card, which increases damage to formless rays by 15%, the Orc Lady card, which increases damage to insect rays by 5%, and the Orc Skeleton card, which increases damage to holy rays by 20%. Size modifier cards are also in demand due to a great deal of monsters it can affect. When hunting MVPs, equipping weapons with Minora's card is a must since most MVPs are large size, and this card increases damage to large type monsters by 25%. Desert Wolf card, on the other hand, increases damage to small type monsters by 25%, while the Skeleton Worker card increases damage to medium type monsters by 25%. Aside from weapon cards that increase damage, there are also cards that provide players with skills that are not normally found in their job skill 3. An example of this is the Vitata card that grants the ability to use Heal Level 2. Our High Wizard here can now heal using the Vitata card. Another example is the Horong card that has the effect of being able to use Sight Level 1 even if you're not a Mage class. Alright, so far we've talked about where to get cards, how to inlay, how to add a slot, and how to remove your cards. In addition, we've also given examples of the different card types in-game. You can use the different card effects in combination to counter enemies in battle. In a future video, I'll also discuss a card suited for various equipment and job classes. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.